Hello friends, James Stevenson back with another episode of Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today? It's a newcomer. It is Frank Wunderlich Pfeiffer. Uh, for the first time ever, let me roll the Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today logo before I show you Loki, who is curled up in bed sleeping off breakfast. There he is. Uh, not a lot to see there right now, so I'll just uh, remind you that you can always see Loki in the Loki cam here below me when I share my desktop to show you today's featured hater who claimed Telsa, come on man, spell the name right, at least. It's the first word of your tweet. Did you not look before you hit send? Telsa dropped below 50% EV market share, even in the US, and it is now only the second largest EV manufacturer, but you wouldn't know from how Tesla fans talk about it, he claimed. All right, so who's he retweeting here? quote tweeting it's hans nelson at hans c nelson we'll click through here and see this uh first 2018 oems the competition is coming look out for all of our tesla killers we're really going to show tesla how evs are done at scale 2018 tesla bring it 2023 tesla where all you tesla killers at 2023 oems evs are too hard we give up that's an exaggeration, but it's a joke. It's supposed to be, right? Okay. So I'm going to hit the back button uh, and show you a community note that was not here when I replied to this uh, tweet. Uh, Tesla is at 56.5% market share, not below 50% as this tweet was begun. This tweet is still up. It hasn't been deleted uh, with 14 likes on it since Christmas Day, December 25th. Uh, here's my reply. So you just hop on Twitter and make up lies? LOL. Uh, with my chart. I got 570 likes here. Uh, here is a chart of US EV sales. What's this red line here? It's showing you that Tesla sold almost 400,000 EVs last year, and this year sold almost 500,000 EVs. So Tesla increased their EV sales year over year by about 100,000. Where's everybody else? Well, you can see in the legend over here, this is everybody else who sold EVs in the U.S., including people who sold only a handful, like Mazda, VinFast, etc. So all of them, besides Tesla, sold fewer than 50,000 EVs last year over the first nine months of the year, year-to-date Q3 2022. How many of them sold more than 50,000 EVs this year? Zero. None of them increased their sales to more than 50,000. So recapping, Tesla grew their sales year over year by more than any two competing automakers sold combined in either year, 2022 or 2023. Yeah, uh, that's the truth. Uh, this is this is the, the state of the situation, right? So let me click through here and show you how... Uh, <laughs> got a fun reply here from Chris Dungeon. 1 to 100 ratio, epic. It was 135 to 1 when I saw his uh, comment. It's changed a little bit since then. He got a few more likes. I don't understand why. Uh, Ryan Scanlon says, it's always German dudes. What's up with that? Enemy at the gates and their defense is to lie? Uh, I replied, das ist in Ordnung. Uh, so this is fine. I, I don't speak German, uh, as you can tell from having heard me try. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Google is pretty good at giving you recommendations for how to translate English. Uh, all right, here's his reply. Frank Wunderlich Pfeiffer replied, you can't even read your own graph, and he got three likes on that. I replied, I can't? What am I not understanding about it? Maybe this one's easier for you to understand. <laughs> I got 219 likes on this one, so it's the, the extremely rare double ratioing in the comments uh, for, Fr for Frank Wunderlich Pfeiffer, uh, who's hating hard on Tesla today. He did retweet me up here, Maybe I'll show you that. If I click through here, can I go to view post engagements? Yeah, here it is. He, he quote tweeted me saying, almost everybody doubled their sales figures while Tesla only grew a few percent. Learn math. 
Yeah, he's going to tell me, James Stevenson, to learn math. All right. Uh, so I had to reply. <laughs> Jim McPherson at McJames rep- with a Z replied, You have no idea what hornet's nest you were kicking by just making up statistics and asking James to learn math. Uh, Frank said, I don't know who he is. Well, he found out. Uh, I replied, I learned math, but more importantly, I learned how to identify market domination when I see it. This video, which my followers saw 69 days ago, may help you. Uh, the first of several videos that I made on exactly this topic that he is now misinforming people about. Uh, let's click through here and get to my reply. I'm not even going to read you what he said. Uh, you can pause and read it if you want. Uh, he, he wrote these so fast, there's no way he could have watched the video first. So I replied, since you obviously chose not to watch the video, here's another one for you to ignore. Have fun in the Tesla Q information silo slash sensory deprivation chamber. Uh, and he's again, trying to tell me stuff I know already. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I guess I have to read you this one to give you Brian's reply. The, tr- the trouble is, though, Tesla isn't addressing most of the car market because they only have a few models at high price. Nothing below $30,000, which is the fastest growing EV segment, and easily most of the overall car market. 90% of the world population live outside the U.S., the EU, and Japan. Uh, all right, uh, but Tesla already has a leading position in the U.S. and the EU and China, which is a much larger market than Japan. I don't know why Japan made it into the situation. But uh, the world population is of very little interest to automakers. What they care about are car markets. They care about where there are people who can afford to buy a new car. That's what matters when what you sell is new cars. Brian replied, I feel like you're so close to getting it. Uh, Tesla doesn't yet sell a car that competes with $30,000 cars on price, but they might. They might. And then Katie bar the door because Tesla sells profitable vehicles, right? Uh, Most legacies haven't figured out how to sell a profitable vehicle yet. Um, All right. I said, you're still not getting it. Maybe this video will help it sink in. Uh... I said Tesla would prefer to have 25% of the EV market. It's the mission. The only reason Tesla has way more than 25% today is the total incompetence of competitors. If Legacy Auto were any good at profitably making EVs people want to buy, Tesla's share would be much closer to 25%. uh, To which he said Tesla has a 19.4% pure EV market share in the EU. So he's now changed the subject like so many times I can't even keep up. He started off US EV sales, then it was global uh, EV sales. Now it's EU EV sales for some reason. He's not getting it. Tesla wants to move from 56.5% to 19.4% of the US EV market or whatever. Tesla wants to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy and would prefer not to have to do it alone. Uh, Tesla does not want to see every legacy automaker go bankrupt uh, after failing to create EVs people want to buy. Uh, You have imagined that loss of EV market share is a sign of Tesla losing. It is a sign of Tesla winning when Tesla can accelerate the world's transition away from fossil fuel vehicles to sustainable energy, to battery electric vehicles. Uh, and that's my video for today. So that's who's hating hard on Tesla today. It is Frank Wunderlich Pfeiffer, who, uh, hating hard on Tesla today. Chuck back in with Loki, who is laying in bed, uh, dozing, sleeping on the job, making me do all the work. Uh, and I will remind you before the video ends to click like on this video. That way the algorithm knows to recommend this video to other people who are like you who might like this video. If you haven't subscribed to me and you're watching me on YouTube, you can do that by clicking a link that I'll leave over here for you. Or if you want to support my efforts, you can do that on Patreon or on X or by joining my YouTube channel as my executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com did. And I'll see you in the next one.